Hello everyone and welcome to another unboxing from Always Play Blue. Today we're going to look at some expansions from the awesome two player game Star Realms. Star Realms was designed by Robert Doughty and Darwin Castle and published by Wise Wizard Games. We've had Star Realms in our collection for a while, I uh, really enjoy it as a sort of two player head to head game. Um, I've wanted to sleeve the cards and I've wanted to buy more content for it for a while. But sleeving the cards meant I'd have to get rid of the box and find somewhere to put it. And then buy more content meant that we just have loads of other boxes or would have to find some other storage solution for them. When I was at UK Game Expo last month, I saw the Universal Storage box and picked it up immediately. And um, figured while I was there, I might as well get some more stuff. So we got the Scenarios Pack, the Colony Expansion and the Frontiers Expansion. So we have to take a look inside the Universal Storage box first. Um, obviously, if you know storage boxes, don't expect too much inside of it. It is literally a box. Um, and, and I know that they chuck in some content um, here, this is, I mean, we've got some, um, an extra pack of um, cards um, and then these dividers, which are really useful, obviously, as I buy more content, um, sort of divider cards between them all. Really good quality, There's, they're almost like a, um, they're like plastic, a lot like the, the dividers you get for the Smash Up big box as well. Um, so just going through, and obviously a lot of these I don't have, so it's just teasing me with content that I want to buy and most likely will over the next um, few months. Uh, I think what, what I've got, the, the big boxes, the Frontier and the Colony, sort of the main bulk of it, and then everything else is blister packs from then on, so just be picking up what I can, when I can, because I know some of it's hard to come by. Um, I have been looking since uh, I brought the storage box online and seen some places do sell um, some of the command decks and everything else, so we'll just see what we can pick up for the game. We really enjoy playing it um, as is, so you know, if I don't get everything, that's fine. But that storage box would look nice, more full up. <laughs> uh, and then you can see on the ends of each of the three rows there, you've got the foam blocks to hold everything together. And then this is just the extra pack. Um, I can't remember exactly what is in here. Uh, okay. Through the sh two of those for that faction. The Okay, so it's like a pair of cards each for each of the factions, and then the drone cards. Okay, for the blobs. Okay, I'll just chuck those into the game. That'd be interesting. You can see the pod tokens are all the same on the back. Double-sided cards. Yeah, so it's just a nice little extra thing to have inside the storage box um, to add to the collection. So let's get that out of the way and then look at the first of the um, other expansions I got. So this is Colony Wars. Um, I believe, yeah, it's pretty much the same as the base game. You can actually buy this one without having owned the base game it, and just play it straight out of the box as well. And if you've got um, both sets, you can just whack them together. Uh, I think there's also rules in here for, um, yeah, so you've got the two player, one versus one, but you can also do uh, multiplayer if you've got the multiple packs, which is nice. Um, and we've not actually had a chance to play this with anyone else yet. So that'd be very interesting. So look inside the main pack, you've got your old um, <laughs> your old uh, health cards there with the, the track down the left hand side. Always that moment when you're playing the game, seeing someone's math skill as they try to work out when they go from like the low 30s down to the 20s and trying to work out how many they need to do it by as they change that card around the other direction. Um, I think there's in one of the expansions, and I say I think a lot, so sorry about that, but I think there are, um, in one of the other expansions, there's a new kind of um, health card. Um, but we'll just have a look through these now. So that's the blob cards. There's some nice stuff here. I mean, it's it's more of the same, really. Um, a lot of defensive cards. A lot of, I mean, there's a nice six attack there. Some um, stations. I love the artwork on this stuff. I really do. I could just, I could have a hardback book with just all of these pictures in, and just sit one Sunday afternoon and just browse through all this artwork. I love it. It takes me back to sort of the eighties, um, sort of sci-fi book covers and the top trumps um, sets I used to have. Uh, it's really nice, and I love what all, all the four factions are all sort of distinct in their, uh, in their ship styles and everything as well. Really nice. Trade Federation. Some money. Ah, oh, and then oh, that's nice. And then you've got, um, obviously you've got these cards, uh, the standards. So you've got the, the Viper and the Scout, and then the Explorer. 
Explorer is always nice with the money and the and the hit points um, to get rid of. Cycle those through to your pack um, when you can't afford the big cards. Next up, we have the, um, and this is just a blister pack, but this is the scenarios. So this is a way of, um, there's 20 cards in it. It's a way of changing up the game as you're playing it. So each card sort of gives different starting conditions um, for your match, just to mix things up. So you're not all just, you know, starting on the same health, starting on the same cards. Um, if you play it a lot, I guess they can get quite samey. So, um, yeah, I grabbed this because it would be nice later on. So you can see here, look, at the start of the game, you start on a lot lower health. Um, you produce more from those. Um, the evasive cards you get there. Some of them got quite intricate um, rules to start off again, looks it. Spend more money to change things over. And I love how they've sort of kind of like themed it there as well. So maximum warp there. So it's like you're getting backup ships quite quickly, so you can draw an extra card. Um, and then you've got the prolonged conflict, so you start. Um, so you've got one that makes you start high health to make the game longer, one that starts short, uh, lower health to make the game shorter. Um, but yeah, loving all these cards. Just a nice way to mix everything up. Um, I would just shuffle those and just pull one at random and then that's your game. Um, either both handicapped or both um, uh, given sort of a, a nicer start. And then this is the Frontier. Um, and this one now, I th you can... Um, this is straight out of the box, one to four player multiplayer. Um, so it's got a lot more cards in it. Um, and a nicer storage box. Um, those small boxes are a bit of a pain just jamming those cards in and then the rule books or the rule sheets. And like I say, I really want to sleeve these, um, these, this game now because we do play a lot. And you can see the different, um, just on that page, we'll see, we'll see it when I go through the cards. Um, but uh, the, the new scorecard there where it was sort of stacked. Um, we'll see that in a bit. And then... Yeah, well, oh, and then they've got solo play as well. I didn't know that. Um, and I know there's like, yeah, this, so this is, I think there's a co-op mode as well. So you can kind of fight against um, uh, a boss AI and there's different ones to choose from. So the starting health of those is 30 points per player. Oh, that's really good because we actually do, we do like the two player head-to-head -head stuff. We've got a lot of them in our collection, but Every now and then you just want a co-op game to sit down with your other half and just team up against a game. We, we play a lot of those as well. Um, you know, from the Pandemics to the Harry Potter um, Hogwarts Battle um, to Aeon's, uh, Aeon's End. Um, so that'd be really nice to play this as a co-op game as well occasionally. Uh, so <laughs> when I get tired of getting my butt kicked by my girlfriend on this, my God, that's a hit of 10 and it only costs 6. Ah, oh, that is. I I tend to start with like the Trade Federation maybe, and get a few nice cards that combo in that, and then as soon as a nice like blob card turns up <laughs> with the heavy hit, I do my best to grab it straight away, and I absolutely love it when it comes out. And if you can get um, uh, other cards, same faction sort of, that say like, uh, you know, you get another kind of four hit when you play that with, with a with a high hitting blob card, uh, or even the stealth um the stealth need I think it is. I love that ship, and I always win when I manage to get it, and I love it when it comes up with a really high hit and blob card, and you can just copy it. It's <laughs> just amazing. Um, so when I do win, that's how I do it. But, yeah, I don't think I've seen a card with a 10 hit before. That's amazing. And I'm just ignoring all these other cards as I'm discussing this. But, uh, again, yeah, it's just more of the same. There's a lot more powerful cards, it looks like, in the Frontier set. Um, I've seen a lot more sort of um, dual power ones where you can... Um, choose like money or, or repair or hit and repair and like I say that 10 hit was quite a, quite a big deal at the beginning there so onto the trade federation uh, okay so there like you, I mean you've got hit four shield four and then you um you've got the secondary function if you've got the matching in there and some more of these cards as well probably a lot more because if this is up for four player so we're gonna have a we have a lot of vipers in that and there's the score cards I was on about so just instead of down one column, so they're not that much different really. It is just sort of a wider bar there. So it's really not much different. And I know a lot of people use um you can get an app and that to use to make it easier to keep track of that. But yeah, that's so that's our additions to our Star Realm games, and we're going to be playing uh, a lot more of the game uh, coming up. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.
And if you'd like more content, head over to Instagram at alwaysplayblue or check out the website alwaysplayblue.com. Thank you.